Hello, I am here to tell you that your map doesn't look as good as it could be with just some very easy steps, so please follow these steps, okay? Thank you. So you added a terrain, that's cool, and you shape the terrain, and then you add a texture, and then everything is in one texture, and uh, you think that's okay, but no, it's not. When you play the map, it, it just looks freaking ugly, especially because you cannot tell where can you walk or, and where will you just slide down the hill. So what you need to do, it's easy. You just get two more textures. Uh, you can just download Terrain Toolkit. Terrain Toolkit. Terrain Toolkit. Terrain Toolkit. It's free. Terrain Toolkit from the Asset Store. Terrain Toolkit, okay? It's super easy. You just get it. You can even make some terrain in it. Doesn't matter. What you want is a textures folder and you have uh, like three different, six, seven different kinds of rock. All right, let's add two more. Uh, rock moss. Yeah, why not? Okay, fine. And now I can just paint this just to show it off. And maybe rock dirt. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds very good to me. Get it in there. Paint a little. Yeah, it looks different enough, okay? Doesn't matter. So the problem is though, uh, you have to paint it everything by hand. Nope, nope, you don't. You don't. Steel Raven did something awesome. He made this uh, pile texture script. Let's go to scripts. Let's go to map tools. Let's go to pile texture. Here is pile texture. What we're gonna do is not do anything in here. Instead, we're gonna go to prefabs. Sorry about that. Let's go to prefabs, map elements, file texture. Yeah, just dra drag it, drag it in. Let's see. Let's just give it a try. Let's just press apply texture. Okay. So in the area of this square, it applies a texture based on uh, you know angles and stuff. So this looks much more interesting already. Much more. Your map has just increased from being freaking dull to being damn nice interesting. So use pile texture, okay? So what you can do now is just scale this thing. Alright, that looks fine to me. More. Whoa, this is a bit... I don't even know for sure where it ends, but I think it should be fine. So let's just press apply texture. Yeah, it's, it's fine. But uh, I kind of don't like how this is so one one colored. Uh, let's let's modify. First of all, let's modify one of the textures just to see how freaking easy it is. Let's just make it happy green. Oh oh damn, damn! You didn't expect that, did you? All right, let's uh, make it a bit uh, sandy, happy even more. Oh oh, now you like this, don't you? Okay. Um. So now let's see what happens if we add a f fourth texture. Let's add a fifth texture. Let's click click the pile texture. Apply texture. Yeah, it does only use the first three, apparently. Why is the sand? Oh, yeah, the sand is not being used because we are too high. If we make it a bit lower uh, and do the pile texture again. There we go. Now down there is sand. And if you don't like the textures, you can just click the terrain, go to paint. Uh, what's it called? Paint texture and just double click the textures and replace the image files. Because this one was, was ugly. This is much better. This is even better, at least from a distance. And this is how you use pile texture, and you should totally use it because uh, texturing is a, is a lot of work. Just look at this. This is gorgeous. So this is not what you want, most likely. And then we're just going to use the pile texture magic on it. Oh, whoa, this looks scrumptious. And then we're going to use the delicious texture baker or whatever it's called. Pile texture. Apply. Yeah. Ooh, nice. So for texture painting, this, these brushes are actually nice when you're lazy, like me, like I. This little detail adds so much, so please use the pile texture. I hope this helps. See you in the next video. Ciao!